Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play The Last Door. It's an indie point and click horror game. Uh not a whole lot to say. You can find this on Game Jolt or you can get something edition on Steam. I'm playing this on Game Jolt and that's ah, loud. <laughs> and I have my volume like really low. Uh sorry if I don't sound like my normal self. My throat is not the best at the moment, but who cares? Let's get into this. Headphones and dark environment recommended. Well, I have the headphones down, but I'm playing this during the day, so... Guess we're not gonna be getting maximum ambience. After all the things I've seen. <clears throat> Oop. Rope. Uh, chair. After all the things I've done. <laughs> I'm giving him the weirdest voice. Oh, we gonna hang our <laughs> We gonna hang ourselves. My life is on a course that I can't escape from. <clears throat> I'm gonna sound terrible throughout this whole thing. It's too late for me now. I just hope you could forgive me someday. Yeah, you're forgiven. I don't really know you anyway. Yours sincerely, Anthony Beechworth. And there he goes. Oh, alright. Well, I can tell this game is just going to be incredibly happy fun times, so... <laughs> Bring your kids along. Family-friendly adventure here. Developed by all those people. Original music by Carlos Viola. Good job, man. This music is actually really good. Uh, Jesus worked on this. Whoa! That's how you know it's gonna be good. So this has kind of a old-time cinematic feel. I wonder when this takes place. Funded with Kickstarter. Very much. I should donate. <laughs> if I like the game. 1891. Oh, we're going back, Weiss. Uh, yeah, what he said. That's the only thing my dear old friend Anthony Beechworth wrote in his letter. It had been many years since I last heard that sentence. It used to be th the motto of the science and philosophy group that we secretly ran back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. We left it all behind the simple childhood memories. But it was unusual that letter could only mean something awful must have happened. Yeah, probably. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex to the address on the letter, and I managed to bring my incredibly stupid top hat. And there it was, the old home of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Mansion. Chapter 1, The Letter. This is going to be kind of a, an alone-in-the-dark style thing. Gotta investigate a suicide. Uh, I keep forgetting I have to click. Oh, we're playing. What's the lens do? Can I look at myself? Can I look at my hat? Can I look at the door? Well, this lens is useless. I don't even know what it's for. Look at that strut. This is weird. Everything is silent, like there's no one living here. Well, not anymore. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. Oh, why'd you get rid of the hat? What's that? A portrait of Anthony. He looks older than I expected. The gra- <clears throat> Burped. The grandfather clock. It's the only sound around here. Aside from that music, who's doing that? A note on the table. Dear Mr. Beechworth, due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us, and much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all these years at your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. Alright. 
door. It won't open. Oh, crap. Can I use a lens? What is a lens for? Am I just, am I just stupid? I have no idea what the lens is for. Is it the lens of truth? Uh, that's a different game. A fireplace. Looks like it hasn't been cleaned in a long time. You'd swear the owner was dead. A gramophone. It looks rusty. A drinks cabinet with glasses, some crystal bottles, and a matchbox. The large window is wide open, letting the cold dusk air in. Moose. A stuffed deer head. Okay, fine. I'm gonna crush my, dr crush my dreams of it being a m moose. What's that? A landscape painting. Alright. Play with some days old leftovers. Kitchen stoves and a cleaning cloth. Plates and pans. A variety of cooking ingredients. Door. I unlock the door. Great. Oh, God. A murder of crows is eagerly eating something. Can I see what... There are two vicious getting close could be dangerous. Yeah, I can tell they're loud. What's that? It's just rubbish. All right. Is there anything over here? What's that? A crooked painting. I should go fix it. Excuse me. You seem to be crooked. Yeah, that didn't do much better. Oh. <laughs> An old rosary with a solid wood crucifix. What's this door? Oh, wait, wait, sit. Small plan brings some life to this place. Because I'm the only one. A lamp, it will come in handy. Indeed it will, if I can reach it. Toiletries. Tiny dark coal in the wall. No, wait. What was that? What is it? March 5th, 19, 8, 1891. Master made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with him? Luckily, I found a place to hide my rosary. I can't pray every night without it. Master has been complaining about Alfie. Uh, what would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I can't let that poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about the master. He's growing more and more unlike himself every day. Mr. Beatsworth is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. I would be too. An empty bowl. It's like one's used to feed a pet. Open the window. Window won't stay open. It looks like the wood is giving up. I need some sort of cord to keep it open. Why? In the wall, I can see the trace of the crucifix that was hanging there for years, and now it's gone. How do I get that? How do I get? Oh, that was easy. Now I can go to the darky dark area. After I find out what's over here. Hello. It's padlocked. All right. Do that amazing strut. I'm hearing noises. Oh, it's the clock. You spooked me for a second. Why do I just leave the door open? Can I use it? Oh, wait, it's unlit. I need something to light it, I guess. It's too dark, can't go any further, so... Yeah, okay, I need something to light it, but what? Well, if this is gonna be a puzzle game, I am... Totally screwed. I am not good with puzzles at all. Yeah, I've only beaten one Zelda game in my life. It's over here. Well, these matches go <laughs> well, then. That was easy. Sweet. Lighted. mean lit. Alright. 
Whatever. What evs? I guess I don't need. Right. Am I gonna see some spooky? Something gonna spook me? What's that? Oh, that's spooky. Some wooden planks have been nailed to this doorway. I'm sure nothing bad is going to happen. Some paintings are missing. Yes, yes. Oh, what's that? It's locked with a key. God dang it. What's over here? This guy has some guts, man. I would not go in this place. A silver key. Yay. A double bed. It's covered in dust. Seems like no one has slept here for days. A gentleman with a serious and inquisitive look. What's that? What's this over here? Family portraits. Alright. This window leads to the balcony that communicates with the adjacent room. So I got a key. We're making good progress. What's that? Fireplace hasn't been used for a long time. Alright. Can I use the key here? This key doesn't fit the lock. Alright, crap. Allow me to slowly walk over here. Onwards to journeys in the mansion of totally not death. Oh my god, this is loud. Thank god I'm recording the audio separate. I can barely hear myself talk right now. <laughs> These headphones are too good, perhaps. I will say, this game does ambience very well. This is actually pretty spoopy. Let me just strut my way over here. Excuse me, Mona Lisa. I just gotta find a room that's locked. Alright, here's... Maybe this will work. Hey! There we go. Oh, no. Oh, actually right-clicked. What's that? A slate record titled The Carnival of Venice. I like carnivals, although I haven't been to one in a long time. Heck, I don't know if I've been to one at all. Some firewood. Alright, it looks like a pile of crap. Actually, with this art style. An iron crowbar. Actually, for such a simple art style, this is pretty spooky. The boiler looks like it's been out of use for a long time. Well, crap. Can I use the crowbar on it? I don't need to pry the boiler open. So can I Can I just touch it and open it? Cement is still fresh in this wall. Can I use the crowbar to break down the cement? Can't break down the wall with this. God dang it. Can I use the crowbar to fight off the murder of crows? Or can I use it to break open a door? Oh, maybe I can use it on the door with the padlock on it. Break the lock. Maybe, maybe. I'm gonna take my sweet time to get over there. And here was it? I don't remember where anything is in this place. Let's see if I can use it on the crows. Nope, alright. Can I use it on the door? What? What? Are, oh god. Alright. Whatever. <laughs> Need to find out how to deselect that better. There's gotta be something I can use this on. Can I use it on this? No? Alright. Whatever. Oh, I could use it on this. I'm so... such a dumb dang. Ooh. Hey, I did it. Alright! For God's sake, what happened here? I think that's kind of an underreaction, and I got a message on Facebook. I was tagged in a post. Alright, uh... In the next part, we'll continue on with this nightmare-inducing crap. Until then, I'm Chance Power vs. Gaming, and I'll see you guys later.